What is up gamers and YouTubers, JC here, back with another Minecraft Xbox tutorial, and yes, I am wearing one of the new skins from the latest skin pack, and I will have a video about that soon, up very, very soon, right after this tutorial, and um, what we have here is we, we have a tutorial about doorbells, you guys requested uh, a tutorial about doorbells because you wanted to know how to build a doorbell on your your world, so we actually have two sections here that I have already kind of prepared for, so that I can just... Uh, breeze through it and uh, one is for a button which I'm going to show you and the next one is push flight and then this is just a test of uh, like what you can actually you know like just to show you like you can go more advanced than what I'm showing you here because I'm just kind of showing you the basics so in this tutorial this first one I must find my button and uh, there's my button I got all my I got my note blocks and stuff so here we go let's go down and because uh, you you really want your button like one block away from the door so it's not opening your door unless you want it like that. If so, then all you got to do is move your all this wiring and stuff I'm about to show you over, which is very basic wiring. So I'm going to put it, because I want it here, I'm just going to go ahead and put the button there. I want the doorbell here. You're going to go one, two blocks down. I have already marked off my stuff. And uh, you're going to replace some of these blocks in a moment. Uh, but for now, you're going to just dig it out. You're going to go two blocks down here, two blocks down here, and then you're going to go one here. Uh, and then you're going to go three down here, and then you can just start digging over a couple blocks until you reach this point. At this point, you're going to want to dig down. I recommend putting a dirt block underneath because it makes uh, some of the most basic, it makes the most basic and the simplest sound to work with. Um, now, you can go more advanced on what you do. Uh, like like I'm saying, you can you can use cobblestone if you want, but it doesn't make the best sound, see? It makes a deeper sound, so you, and you can change it with. You hit it to uh, hear the sound that you're. It's set on uh, with the right trigger, and you can tune it with the left trigger to a different note. So yeah, as it continues to go, then I, then I can hit it with the right trigger to test that note if I like it. And then you can go. When you hit it with the right trigger, that's the note you're going to be playing. So, with that said, we're just going to do a basic tutorial, and uh, this is the button. So, um, just get this. You're going to want to dig one block underneath your button so that you can put a piece of redstone. Then you're going to have to get the redstone to come to here. Um, this will not work because it will get cut off by blocks when you fill this in just like this. See, there's no more connection there. So, once you fill the ground back in, you cannot use that connection. So, you're wanna go going to want to go over here and right there. And then you're going to want to take your redstone like this. And then you're going to take it down one here over here, and this is going to be your repeater side. Uh, your repeater side is going to be the delayed uh, ding afterwards. This is just a simple two-block tutorial. Um, you're going to want to set it to a the full three delay for best sound. And um, you're going to want the the easiest way. I like this. You can tune these however you like, guys, and you can add as many note blocks as you want uh, once you see the the type of wire that you're going to need for more note blocks but anyway uh, you can just leave the standard note for the second ding uh, the first note that it comes with then you want to come over here and you're going to want to dig down once again to replace with dirt and then place your note block and then place some redstone here so it connects the only way a note block will I got that backwards. I'm sorry. Uh, I was just I was just about to say it. Uh, the only way a note block will play is if it's connected through redstone and not the repeater. The repeater will not allow the note block to play. It'll just pass the signal through the note block and ignore it. So now that we have the it basically done, let's tune this one just real quick. You, we're gonna go probably one, two, three, four. We'll say four. I think four is a good one. And um, now that that's done, uh, we I know that this is gonna work out beautifully. So actually, I'm gonna hit it so that you guys can just kind of see like the delay on this thing, and listen closely, guys. Okay, so that's your your ring, and as you can see, it, it passes the signal through there, connects to that one first, then receives back to this one, and that plays the delayed note, and that's your basic button doorbell. You can tune those things however you want. Uh, you can place different blocks underneath. Uh, let me go over here, like. I don't even know all the sounds because I've never really tried it all, but but there's so many sounds you can work with, um, 
and some of them aren't the most best sounding but there's a lot of sounds to th work with just just place different blocks underneath and build it to your your liking and then over here we have the pressure plate tutorial uh, just to show you how to quick way to make a pressure plate doorbell you're once again you're gonna want the pressure plate one block away from your door so that it does not open your door uh, so you're gonna want to take down one and two and then over then down one more and then dig out your quick area over here I did a little better planning you're gonna want to go down once you go down two you're gonna go on, go down one more and then just dig two blocks this way that total of four blocks that you'll dig out and you're going to place your note block there and same on this side you're going to want to dig uh, three down and then just drop down in the hole and go one two and then you're there and then you're going to place your second note block and we're going to just kind of repeat what we did this time I did this one a little better better uh, more uh, universal so once again, you're going to want to place the redstone before the, the note block and then place your repeater on max delay. Now we all, now like I said in the, on the note block, tutor, no, note blocks over there, you want to leave your delayed one on the default note unless, unless you find a better tune you like, which I'm going to show you something in a second, and then delay this one to about four, one, two, three, four, and then... Well, this one we have to close all the way up so that we can actually lay the push plate across, and then you guys can see how it works. And now that that's over, this this block is where you're going to put your push plate, and it's directly above the redstone beneath, which is how it's going to be triggered. So we lay the push plate, and you can walk across it. And I think I, f yeah, I, okay, no, I screwed up. I thought I screwed up. But yeah, so you can just walk across it, and then they can walk in your house, and you know they're coming. But like I said, you can make more advanced ones, like this one right here. This one ha has a total of eight note blocks all together, and uh, it's a tune that I put together after a little bit of work. And um, let me just uh, break into the wiring down here, so that we can just kind of show off some of it. It's pretty basic wiring, and it all runs off of the the grass notes, uh, which the grass notes, the dirt notes, I should say, which is just these. There's just a dirt block underneath all these. I didn't do anything really, really fancy with it, but it has a very nice tune to it. So if you guys will just kind of, oop, if I can figure out, remember how I get out of here. All right, so now that we got that, and this is something like this is what I'm going to actually put on my house. And uh, so just guys, listen up. And um, I got all these. Instead of on a three, I got them on a two because I got so many note blocks. Uh, one, a one delay on all the repeaters was too fast, so I just put it on a two, and it sounds pretty good. So listen up. Um, let me push the button, and I'll get down closer. There you go. So that was a beautiful no noise, I feel like. It was just something that came to my head because I, I think... I've heard that doorbell before, so I just kind of tuned every block um, to my liking until it sounded just like that. And that's how you can test out the sounds, is you can just hit the blocks with the right trigger and uh, you tune with the left trigger. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out, and I will catch you in the next video. So if guys, if you've enjoyed this video, and if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and uh, just leave in the comments below. Um, telling me if this worked for you. It should work for you with no problem. There should be nothing wrong with this tutorial. And it's getting to be night. Nice. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This has been JC. This is my Let's Play world that I have. And uh, if you guys want to check out that series, be sure to check out my channel. And, uh, yeah. Peace.